So if you were watching the videos from last week, you might remember that we had something weird going on here at the hives where there was a, a cluster on the ground here protecting the queen. And I got the bait hive out and they moved into it. I don't see any activity outside of it today. So I'm just going to open up and see what's in it. I don't expect to find anything in there. So I don't know what happened to the queen that was in here. few dead bees down on the bottom. I'm just going to see if there's comb on any of this, only these frames. Oh, there are a few bees down in there. So I had two layers of frames inside and all the bees are clustering down the very bottom here. I don't know what their plan is since there really aren't enough of them for a, a colony. They'll just end up dying. They stuck these together. I think queen might still be in there. Yeah, the other queen might be here, so I'm going to take a look and... No queen there. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to get all these frames they're not sitting on out of here. Queen on there. So if there's a queen in here, she's probably down in that little cluster there at the bottom. I'm gonna do this without squishing them. No queen excellent. here. So they have started building comb on that uh, a cleat, I guess, uh, instead of on the frames. <laughs> which is okay. Um, so I don't know, since I can't see inside there without getting my head inside, I don't know if there's eggs or if there's a queen or what they're doing. I'm gonna open up uh, the main hive and see if there's a queen in there because that's really what's most important. If there isn't a queen in the other one and if she's in here, then I'm gonna try to move her into the other one. So we're going to open up the Queen Beatrice hive. This will be the first time opening it since I gathered the swarm. But first I want to take a weight. It's empty weight is 35 pounds. And today it's weighing at 18.75, so that's 37 and a half pounds. So only two and a half pounds, which I don't know, makes me a little worried because there should be about three pounds of bees in there, you'd think. So let's take a look and see what we got. I'm hoping that they have built some comb out and that there's a queen in there laying eggs. Uh, that's what I should be seeing. It's been uh, 10 days since we installed the swarm. It is light on bees. There aren't very many in here. You didn't scoop the frames into the center. They um, probably moved from transport when we transported the hive over yeah. here. All right, we have a leaky bucket of sugar syrup here. There's a little puddle of syrup right there. Try to clean that off. 
So that's a problem. Fortunately, the screen bottom board doesn't allow it to pool in the bottom of the hive, so it just has been dripping through. They're cleaning this up. Set up here. They're, they look like they're busy at work, but they are very low on numbers here. Much fewer than when we picked up the swarm. There's only three frames of comb here. But I'm more interested to see if there's eggs. So it looks like they've been bringing in some pollen and they've been storing probably the excess leaky syrup in here. But there's no eggs in this one. Not very much comb, but there's very few bees, so I guess that's to be expected. Probably should have tried to look for the queen a little better there. This is heavy with also syrup and some pollen. I don't see any eggs on this side. Maybe the queen's in their box. I guess my probably why they have so long numbers because some of them might have left. All right, Dad. Yeah. Do you think you'll throw in a frame of brood from the other hive? Um, keep this one alive. Maybe. Yes, they're low on numbers. Possibly low on a queen too. Well, we'll see if, if what's going on here. I just want to get a good look here before I make any any decisions. There's, there's no eggs in here. So I don't think there's a queen in here. So I think the queen is in the other one. And many of them may have absconded knowing that there's no queen. And that's why they're so low on numbers. I'm just gonna see what happens here. If I can get these two to move back together again. Maybe I can get a better look inside and see if there's a queen in there. There's that queen. Is there eggs in there? Can you see? There's just a, a small speck of comb. It's about this big. Yeah. You got that. So I doubt there would be eggs in it. We saw the queen move from the bait hive down into the main hive. So she's inside the main hive body now. And I think that that is the one queen. I don't think I have two queens I think it's all the bees following that trail. Yeah, so the bees, the bees have found their queen. Okay, so the queen, the queen is in the hive. I'm gonna shake all these bees down in. You know, it's on this side too. I'm covering a hole. Uh, yeah, good idea. Not to do that, huh? <laughs> I think that they're pretty excited to have a queen back because they are all following and looking for her. I believe that queen was flightless for whatever reason. So it, it's entirely possible we may have picked up two queens and half of the hive swarmed off with the one that could fly and the other one was here. Maybe tried to swarm off but couldn't fly.
So now that we know we have two queen, we have a queen, <laughs> and she's alive in there. Um, I'm going to take a look when I open up this uh, the the main my first hive, the queen and hive. I'm going to take a look to see how they're doing with brood, and if they're looking very strong, I I may at that time decide to um, give them a frame of brood to help boost them a little bit because they're low on numbers. I, I may give them a, mature, a more mature frame instead of one with eggs since they have a queen. We'll see. I, I, I need to see what's going on in that hive before I really make my decision. I'm just going to set this aside. Okay, I'll just put it here. Close things up and hope that the queen decides to stay put instead of going for a little walkabout. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah. Oh, 